Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about abstract class. So what is an abstract class? Before going to abstract class, first understand what do we mean by abstract and Kotlin. So it is a keyword and it means just defining members or functions of a class without the actual implementation. So if we don't have a value of a variable or body of a function, that means it is abstract. Sounds confusing, right? Don't worry, let's understand it practically. So in the last video, I have created this base coffee machine. And with the help of this base coffee machine, we created this premium coffee machine. So abstract class is almost the same with a little difference. When you want to create an abstract class, you do not need this open keyword. But instead of this open keyword, you have to write abstract like this. Now the difference between the open class and an abstract class is you cannot create instances or objects of this abstract class. But for an open class, you can create objects. So now we have an abstract class base coffee machine and whenever we need to create a coffee machine we can derive the coffee machine using this abstract class. So this will act as a base class for all our coffee machines. Now let's understand how we can define abstract functions and abstract members. So I told you that if we don't have the actual implementations or values for a function or member variable, that means it is abstract. But if you write a variable or if you define a variable here, let me define it for you. So I will define a val brand of type string. Now if I won't give it a value, that means I want to make it abstract, I will get a compile time error. As you can see, I have a red line below. So if you want to make a function or a variable abstract, you have to explicitly tell the compiler that I want this abstract. And to do this, you have to use this abstract keyword. And now the error is gone. And this member variable is abstract and that is why we do not need to define the value for this abstract val. Now remember you can only use this abstract keyword for your members or functions inside an abstract class only. So if I remove the abstract keyword from my class we again have an error. So to define abstract members or functions, your class has to be an abstract class. So I have a val brand that is abstract and now I can define an abstract function. So let's say I have an abstract function. So again, I will use the abstract keyword before the function definition and we will write abstract fun and let's name it make coffee like the last time and to this function I will pass a parameter that is type and it is of type string and it will give us a string in return. So we have an abstract function here as you can see I do not have the body of this function we just have the function syntax that the name of the function the parameters and we have this abstract keyword that means we do not need to define the body of this function but we will define the body when we will implement this function into the child class so we cannot instantiate this class we can only derive child classes using this base coffee machine and inside that child class we can make the implementation or we can define the implementations for these members and functions so this is basically an abstract class and you can also define some functions or variables with the implementations inside an abstract class. 
so for example i have defined this function here that is just returning the machine info so it is not necessary that you can define only abstract members or functions inside an abstract class but you can also define functions with the implementations now we have our abstract class ready that is space coffee machine now let's come back to our class that is premium coffee machine so this will be our child class that we will define using the help of base coffee machine now here you can see we are getting some errors this is because when you derive a class using an abstract class then either you have to make the child class abstract as well but this is not the solution for our case so if you don't want to make the child class abstract as well what you need to do is you need to override or implement or you need to define the implementations for all the abstract functions and variables and that is why we are getting an error here so it is basically saying that this class is not abstract and that is why you have to define or you have to define the implementations for your abstract functions and member variables so you can do it very easily just press alt enter and you will get an option that implement members so here we can select both brand and make coffee and we can hit ok to implement everything so here we have override val brand now here let's write anything for example brand x or basically any brand and here for the function make coffee we can write our own implementation for make coffee inside premium coffee machine so to override a function or variable we use the override keyword this means we are overriding the function from our base class and here we will define the actual implementation so you can also override open functions and variables for example if you want to make this class open and you want to override some function that already has a definition in the parent class then you can make that function open like this and now you can override machine info as well so if you are making a function open that means it already has a definition then it is optional to override if you want you can override it if you don't want it is not necessary to override so this is the difference between open and abstract so here we will have a definition for our make coffee let's write a simple string here your type is ready and i will add a coffee emoji now my child class that is premium coffee machine is also ready now we can use the same thing that we had used in the previous video so i have a coffee machine instance here and i am getting the info from this info function machine info and i am getting the coffee from my make coffee function and i'm passing the type as cappuccino and finally i am printing both the values now let's run the code and as you can see we are getting the output so it is working fine now you might ask when you should use an abstract class so whenever you need to define a common set of rules for multiple classes you can make a common abstract parent class and you can derive your child classes using this common base class for example i have a premium coffee machine here that is making the coffee very quickly if i want i can create one more class let's say i have a class and this is just a simple coffee machine now i can define the coffee machine here so i need price and color 
and I will derive this class using my base coffee machine and I can pass price and color like this now here I can implement the members and functions so I will implement members now let's say brand y and this time I will make the coffee but this is a very simple coffee machine and not the premium one so what I can do is I can make a delay in making coffees so it will return the same thing so I will copy the string from here but the difference is this coffee machine takes time to make a coffee so here I can write thread dot sleep just to make a normal delay so this machine takes four seconds to make a coffee now in the main function I can make simple coffee machine and this time I will use coffee machine like this and the price is let's say 2000 for the machine and not the coffee and the color is same now if I call the function simple coffee machine dot make coffee and I will pass the same thing that is cappuccino like this uh, not machine info we need to write make coffee and we have the coffee here and let's just print the coffee now let's run the code so premium coffee machines coffee is ready and after four seconds the coffee from the simple coffee machine is ready so that is the difference between both the coffee machines but the important thing here is we have the same function that is make coffee but in both the classes we have different implementations or we can have different implementations for make coffee function and for this kind of situations whenever we want to make a common set of rules for multiple classes we create an abstract class so that is all for this video friends in case you have any problem or question you can leave your comments below this is bilal khan now signing off thanks for watching